All right, in 2021, Harley-Davidson decided to uh, present us with a cable clutch system going away from hydraulic. And I will just tell you as a police motorcycle instructor and officer, not a fan of that. Hydraulic's better. I'll tell you why later in this video. But this is what we're left with, this cable clutch. There is some adjustment, but you can't fine tune your clutch lever. I have a part for you I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you how to install it so that you can fine tune your clutch lever in this video. All right, so let's move into the cable clutch system and adjuster as they call it, and I'll show you why it doesn't do much adjustment. This is what you're left with. If you're gonna keep this and you know your clutch gets out of whack, so to speak, and you don't like it, and uh, you wanna tighten it up, well, Hardy has made it fairly, easy it's really a clutch adjustment for dummies and uh, which is why it doesn't give you much adjustment you see i popped it out it's kind of secured to the frame there's a rubber boot on top and then this sleeve slides up like this it's a little bit of a bear there and this is what you're left with and so this is your stock adjuster so if you do need to make an adjustment it's really easy you just pop these red tabs here and you're going to see this pop out in the back I'm going to take just a little bit of pressure off it by pulling down. That will make it. And as you can see, it popped that tab out in the back. And basically, that's adjusted. Now, you've got a spring, and it's loaded to take out the slack exactly where Harley wants it. Maybe not rider preference, but where Harley wants it. And you would simply pop that back in. Now, I have played with this, and you can make some fine adjustments. I'm going to pop that out again. And if I wanted more play in my clutch handle, um, I can take this and I can manipulate it and kind of trick it, so to speak, if you'll call it that. Let me pull down just a little bit and then you can lock this in. And that's gonna leave a little more play in the clutch handle um, and it's gonna be closer off the grip to engage the friction zone. But what I found is that you have to keep doing this because we don't know exactly where to put it. And uh, it tends to back off anyways pretty quickly. I've talked to some other riders, so I don't know what's going on there but it's just not a good system to properly adjust your clutch lever so i'm going to show you how you can uh, get rid of this completely and we will put a part on it and it is available in the law abiding biker store and uh, i will link to it in the description below and it's a fat baggers easy clutch adjuster so let's get into it all right so i'm going to make just a little bit of room here we're just going to pop this side of the radiator cover off it's just on grommets it does take a bit to pull it we've got a towel on the fender because you see it's going to smack there if you want to take this all the way off you do have to actually put your bike on the kickstand and turn the wheel to manipulate it out of there but that's that's all the room i need and then back in there there's a clip uh, and it goes around the down tube on your frame and to pop that off there i'm just going to pull on the top here and you can see it popped off there and then i'll grab that because we'll want to put that back when we're done Next thing you want to do is push the red tab there because it's going to pop the button out on the back. And if you have trouble with that, take a little tension off of it and pull down. And that will pop that out. And you want it loose like that. Once there, I've just got a couple different size of angle cutters. And just the black piece right here, This is because this is the actual adjuster that we're going to replace with the fat baggers one. And uh, we just want to get the black part off. So I'm just going to start working on cutting this bad boy out of here. You can see I'm just working away at it here. Once you get it going, it breaks off pretty easy. And once you get that much off, you can get this spring up a little bit so you can get underneath here. And luckily this is the adjuster part. Your cable is down here, so you wanna be careful at the bottom is where you really wanna be careful. You can see I'm just coming up from the bottom there. You can see I'm getting to the end of it there, but it's pretty stout plastic. And there we go, we got that bad boy out of there. All right, to show you what we're looking at here, we gotta pop this bottom. This is where the cables come together. Obviously, from the lever side, from the uh, actual transmission side. To see what we uh, need to see here and look at it, just pop it around so you have that window right there. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. You're gonna see there's the two balls at the end of the cables that come together and there's little uh, retainers that keep them in place. And so this bottom one, that's the one we're gonna get out of here and uh, we're actually gonna remove it. And so the main thing guys here is don't pull this. You see how it gets tight? You're working against yourself. Get this pushed back on the bike and you'll see the end of the cable it actually pushed above where it's seated. So once the slack's off of it, you can just come in with something like a dental tool here and we can go ahead, pop that up, make sure it's up. And then I can go ahead 
and get on behind it there and you see I pulled it out there. Now that I'm behind it, we don't want it to slip back in. So I'm just gonna grab a bigger hook here with a little more leverage. All right, and once I've got leverage there to keep it from getting seated back in there, I'm just pulling up on the cable to get it past that. And you can see now I've got it to where it's actually separated the top there from the bottom. So just to show you, this is what's actually down in that yellow plastic sleeve and where that other bottom ball seats up in this uh, little channel here. And that's kind of what holds it in place. But I just wanted to show you kind of what this looks like so you know what you're dealing with when you're in there. That actually, this little guy sits right on the top of that other ball. So this is your actual Fat Baggers Easy Clutch Cable Adjuster again, available in the Law Abiding Biker Store. We have them in stock, ready to get to you guys ASAP. And uh, we're just a company of bootstrap bikers trying to help as many bikers as we can worldwide with videos like this and many others. So we appreciate you coming to our store. It helps support us so we can continue to put out videos like this. And so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is, you'll see the O-ring on there. I'm just gonna grab my little hook tool, being careful not to stab it, but I gotta get that off there because uh, this channel right here is where our cable needs to go down in. And then we'll put that back on in a minute. All right, and so kind of the way this works is obviously once this on, this is how you're gonna adjust your cable and either add tension or take away tension. So right now I want it to take away all the attention um, so that I have the best uh, opportunity uh, to get that bottom clutch uh, cable ball back up in the channel there. And oh my God, I did a number and I marred the bejesus out of these threads, but guess what? Who cares? Because we don't need them. So don't worry about what you do to this guy as far as the threads go. All right, so from there, we just want to turn this bottom collar so we get our cable channel lined up and then this top collar too. Get that all lined up and that will allow us to go ahead and uh, seat this in there and you can kind of seat it like that. It goes down in there and then you can see the bottom and then we can go ahead and uh, we can slide this up right onto that guy and you can see there's a lip there where it stops. And once that's on, I'll just run these, the top collar in as far as it'll go on this one again to make sure we have enough slack here. From there, pretty basic guys, back down in the yellow stock sleeve there. And you can see how that literally just replaced that stock uh, cheaper plastic, uh, well, auto adjuster is what we'll call it. So because this cable uh, kind of slid down in the uh, casing there, uh, we can go ahead and grab these forceps or whatever you can get in there. You could use a hook tool again, but what I'm doing is just pull them back up. You can see, uh, so that I can get it back and seated in there. All right. You can see on the back side, I'm coming through the window with my hook tool to push down on that, uh, shelf where I need to get this up. And then I've got my forceps on the cable, which will allow me to pull up so we can get that seated in there. And there we go. And then I can let up, take a little tension there and you can see that seated in there now. Before we make final adjustments, don't forget your frame clamp that goes on there. We wanna get, you wanna get your cable back kind of in the position it's gonna be at so we know uh, where the tension's actually gonna be. And I'm not gonna put this back in the, the top guide there yet as this will allow me to easier get my fingers in here and adjust this. All right, in my opinion, any Harley with a cable clutch absolutely needs a fat baggers adjuster like this. Now, from the perspective of a police motorcycle instructor and officer, I will tell you the hydraulic system that Harley got away from is way better than this cable clutch system will ever be. A couple reasons I say that with a cable clutch, remember you've got an internal adjustment in the primary and we have a video on how to do that. I'll link to it in the description below, but then you also got this adjustment on the outside and you've got to keep both within certain parameters. It's just kind of a messy system especially when you're riding hard and training a lot, you've always got to make these adjustments. And every cable clutch bike you get on is going to feel different where the handle is, where it's wore, and where the friction zone is. And in contrast, the hydraulic system is so much better and so much more robust. One of the big reasons is it has no external or internal adjustment. It does that on its own for the life of the clutch. And every hydraulic clutch bike you get on Harley specifically is going to feel the same and the friction zone is going to be in the same exact area. Now, a lot of guys say, well, I don't like hydraulic because I can't get my handle exactly where I want it. And I want the friction zone to be a certain, you know, uh, distance off my grip. Well, I have a very easy solution for that. Let's take a look at it real quick before we get this adjusted. And this is one of our awesome PSR adjustable levers. 
Uh, and this is the Journey model. We've got an Anthem model and some others. We've got Black, we've got Chrome. Everything's over on the Law Abiding Biker store for you in stock, ready to ship to you. Now this isn't for the cable clutch system, which we have on the bike right now. The reason I'm showing you this is this 2024 Street Glide that I have, we're gonna be doing a video. We are going to convert it because I don't like the cable clutch system. We're gonna convert it to hydraulic and that video will be coming out on the channel. And once we convert it to hydraulic, this is my lever of choice, guys. And if I spin that around, they're really beautifully built. They've been around for a long time. Obviously we have a black model too. There's also, you can get them in a pair. You can get, if you want them to match, you can get the brake side. Um, although the new 24 Hardys are adjustable on the brake side, this gives you a, a more finer tune adjustment and your levers would match. All right, this lever is super easy to adjust right on the top there. And uh, you can just spin this wheel. Very nice tactile uh, uh, feedback there, both clicking and you can hear it. Again, available in the Law Abiding Biker store. And uh, I'll have one of these on my police bike that I train and compete on. And of course, my personal bikes too. All right, and walking back over to the 24 Street Glide here. I'm just showing you all this in case you are gonna keep your cable clutch system on how to adjust it. A lot of guys will, that's fine. It's expensive to convert it to hydraulic, but make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon uh, because we will be dropping that conversion video on this channel. All right, so obviously our adjuster is at its loosest position. And right here, uh, you're looking at about a half inch if you're from here to uh, the ledge on the handle there, the lever. And that would be way too much. You would probably start your bike and it would just jump on you in gear and not disengage. So we're gonna get it back here. I'd like about an eighth to max a quarter, but I like it right in so it's loose about there. And then you start feeling the cable right maybe about there but yeah you can i just know by feel i'll just doing the tape measure to kind of show you guys what i'm talking about but i'll just know kind of by feel and by look and then of course uh we can get out uh on the course and start working some cone drills and training and i can make finer adjustments uh as i have the bike running and testing it these are nice they do have you know flat spots here where you can put a wrench on um, same with this but what I found is they're pretty darn easy to just adjust. And especially I like it because out in the field, you don't necessarily have to get a tool out and you can just adjust it. That's going to be tightening up my lever. Once you get it, you know, just keep going back and checking your level lever, see where it's at. And once you get it to where you want it, then you can take this right here. This is actually your lock nut and you can kind of just lock it down on top. So that doesn't move on you. And then of course, don't forget, to bring your sleeve back over and your rubber boot just to keep dirt grime out of there. This is probably the hardest part right there is getting that boot over, guys, seriously, but uh, yeah.